Since holidays are coming, Christmas, New Year, I decided to show you how you can make your KDE Plasma, let's say, more festive. For that, I picked up this KDE team. I will leave the link below from the user named L Forky. And she makes a lot of great KDE teams that I mostly use. So let me show you how it is easy to team your KDE Plasma. So I'm here on Endeavor OS, KDE Plasma version 6.2.4. I didn't install anything, no teaming just plain end os and plasma as it ships this team is called happy holidays you want to go to your global team get new and just type in holidays and this is something that happens for me almost all the time and this is the only team so i don't have to wait for the picture to appear and you just go and install and you might get this not responding but just give it a little time don't interrupt it and when you get this message i think that's something that they change in KDE since version 6.1 or something like that. I don't know. They messed with teams a lot in the last couple of minor versions. You can try to install it again and then you will get this bigger message. But you just leave it to install further. When it comes to SDM team, it will ask you for your root password. And this took a couple of minutes just because it went to install all the things that are needed for KDE team. And you don't click here use because for some reason it says VMware no 3D enabled. But I'm on a virtual box and my 3D acceleration is definitely enabled. So I don't know why it's complaining. But you can see here you got Happy Holidays Global Color Team. And if you don't want to lose how your panel is set up, don't check this checkbox. I will use it because it's plain old simple plasma as it ships. And right away you can see that team is changed. You have new window decorations. You have new icons. And then you can just go through all these settings and see if everything was set up to your team. For instance, plasma style is not set up. And then you just choose it and click apply. And you can see you got some stars here. And this is transparent. And you got some stars here. Window decorations are applied. Icons are applied. I don't think uh, the team has cursors. But that's okay. You, you can just put anything you like. Splash screen is applied. And login SDDM team is not applied. So I will just apply it now. It will ask me for a password. Okay. And then now... Let me just move this icon to the center so I can see all those decorations. So you can go here to configure panel, you add one spacebar, the other spacebar, you move one sort of here, and no, you move it here. And as you can see, you have nice decorations here, rounded corners. So the thing that is missing is wallpaper. So you can just go to this page on Happy Holidays Color Global 6. And here are links for every single part of the KDE theming that you need. And there is also a wallpaper. So you just download the wallpaper. And when that's downloaded, you can just go to desktop and wallpaper. Well, it was here before, then that's okay. Here you already have a nice festive desktop, so to say. But there is another little touch that I like to add and that is under wallpaper you go to get new plugins and you scroll down and here you will have live wallpaper snow and then you just install it then under wallpaper type you choose snow and here you have to put an image and I will just put this wallpaper and here under snowflake you can choose what kind of snowflake you want to have I will just put this one click apply and you can see that snow is falling on your desktop you can put this to this rounded option or this or those sort of star option whatever you like here you can of course define snowflake some further but i will leave that for you to play with and now if i restart the computer just to show you how it looks the sddm and the splash screen here is the sddm team that is very nice and splash screen has the same background and everything is very neatly done this is how you get your festive kde for the holidays here are folders if you can't install global team from that kde menu you just go to the page and download specific files 
and hope it helps. Here I put first the name of the file and then location where it goes. And depending on which version of Plasma you are, some things might be broken until you upgrade to newer version. Happy holidays, everybody.